Okay, today I'm going to just show you. This is a little just a DIY uh, job for all the dolls house enthusiasts. Uh, what I want to show you is how to make a picture. Now I've made this one already. As you can see, it's a picture of a rose. Nice gold frame. And just to show you how to do it really. You can buy the frames that there's no picture and you just insert the picture. Or this one here is a picture that is available. And it's the Last Supper, but a lot of people just don't like that one. So, or it's just they find it's too old fashioned or they'd like to just, they have a theme in mind. So they just want to change the picture. Now you can take it out or you can just put a picture over it. And that's what I'm going to do today. I'm just, rather than taking it out, I'm just going to put a picture over and just show you how easy it is. Okay. Now, first of all, what you need is magazine or a paper, be it a just or a photograph or something like that. What you need is also a ruler, a knife with a sharp blade, and double-sided tape. Okay, so because I've made one already in the theme of a rose, um, this was one of the just a weekend paper, and there's another picture of a rose. So I'm actually going to do two, and I think they'd be really nice just as a theme in a bedroom or in a living room or whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do is. I'm going to cut out another picture and it's the rows here. So what you do is you line up your uh, ruler to your picture. Get your sharp knife. Just be careful with the sharp knife. Just put a bit of pressure and cut it along the line. Another one then. Here. Now I just cut it completely out. I don't put any border around the picture. Um, some people do. I prefer not. I just like the picture itself. Okay. And just the last side, as you can see, you just line it up and run your blade. Okay. So just take the picture out. No, oh, that's just after falling out there anyway. Okay. So what you do is you get your frame. Now, yeah, this picture is actually going to fit completely over the picture that's the old picture so I don't have to take that one out okay so now there is a little bit excess so what I'll do is I'll take it now to the eye I think I could take a little bit from the bottom because what I'll do is I'll make sure it's kind of centered um, or else what you can do is like what I'm going to do there is take a little bit from the bottom and take another little bit from the top of the picture so that the rose stays centered. Okay. Now that's the excess. I'm gonna put it in again. Now there we go. You can see perfect. Right? So take that out. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just roll off a bit of double-sided tape. Just roll it back so it just gives you enough room. It's quite tacky, so just be careful you don't get stuck to it. And what you do is you get your piece of paper, your picture that you've cut out, line it up, push it down, okay, and it's stuck down. So I just cut it off again using your ruler, the excess double-sided tape, like so. And the other side. Just move the tape paper, it's easier if I move it because otherwise the ruler will be stuck down on the double sided tape. There we go. Now, perfect. We'll just roll that out of our way, put away that double sided tape. We don't need that anymore. Now, there's a backing on the back of the double sided tape, so what we'll do is we'll take it off. I tend to use my knife and if you can kind of prise it off this is probably the most tricky part of this whole picture so if you can get the corner off which I've done there see and you just start to peel back peel it off and there we go so that's nice and tacky so you get your frame again okay and what I tend to do is just put it down into the corner I think uh, Push it into the end. There we go. And I'll just flat use the, the blade to kind of push it down. Okay, and 
and there we have a nice rose. So we have two nice pictures, okay? One white rose and one pink rose. And these would be just beautiful on any wall in a bathroom or in a bedroom or living room, anywhere at all. And you could just have a nice floral paper behind them or just paint. Okay, side by side or up over each other. Okay, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed.